Getting through this with stories to help get back on track as we rebound Tampa Bay. And tonight, local education leaders are tracking new opportunities for people who are looking to launch a new product or a new service. And Sarah Hollenbeck is here with a look at the local push to help. Jim Bardwell, like many in the Tampa Bay area, was laid off during the COVID-19 crisis, but he quickly found a solution to help our community. I kept reading stories about farmers dumping food and people going hungry. I was just sitting at home in quarantine and kind of put it all together in my head how it could work. Bardwell is now buying extra produce from local farms and selling it online. His website also allowing all of us to buy food and donate it to families in need. Leaders at the University of Tampa's Loth Entrepreneurship Center are seeing a spike in people interested in launching startup companies. Rebecca White even launched a new podcast, In Factor, to inspire innovation. A lot of people have lost jobs and a lot of businesses may not survive. But I, I do believe that, that there are opportunities there. USF and St. Pete College are seeing similar spikes. The innovative nature and creative nature of entrepreneurs is a lot of times what gets us out of crisis. Education leaders say we experienced a spike in entrepreneurship after two other very notable events in our nation's history, 9-11 and the Great Recession. 9-11 brought security startups, the recession, real estate and finance companies. COVID-19 could bring innovation to the ways we work from home, get deliveries, prevent the spread of germs and improve online education. What can we do? How can we do it? post COVID-19. The three schools are launching new programs or beefing up existing ones to help those ideas become reality. In Tampa, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.